So experiment seven is on determination of acidity of vinegar. The process of slowly and carefully adding one substance known as a titrant to another substance known as the analyte until stoichiometrically equivalent amount has been reacted um, is called titrations. So the substance referred to as titrant is normally dispensed dropwise from a piece of glassware known as the burette. Here's just an illustration of a, what a burette looked like. So we have here, um, this is where the titrant will be inside, and then this is where your analyte will be. And then dropwise, drop by drop, you'll be adding the titrant into the analyte until there's a color change. So the titrant is added to the sample until an indicator changes the color. So here's what it looks like. So this is when you're adding the titrant. There's no color change here, but then once you reach the equivalence point, you see it getting pink. So it should be a light color. That's when you stop. You're gonna be stirring it, it's gonna be changing. Then once that color change stays, then you know you've hit the equivalence point. If it's too dark like this sample here, then you know you've overshot it and you've far passed the equivalence point. So here's an example of a titrations problem. So let's consider a titration sample of benzoic acid with a formula weight of 122.12 and reacting with 0 0.1150 molarity of NaOH. So the first question asks, how much benzoic acid is in the sample if 25.35 milliliters of the base is required to neutralize the reaction? So they give us a bit of information. So let's start by first balancing our equation. So we have NaOH aqueous added to our benzoic acid, which is C6H5C, which is also aqueous. So when we react these together, we should form H2O liquid and C6H5COO. Also, liquid, aqueous, excuse me. So our second part is going to be determining how much moles of the titrant did we use. So what they gave us is that we used um, 25.35 milliliters of the base was added and we also have the molarity of the base. So as we know, molarity is moles over liters. So if we use the information that we have, we have 0 0.1150 molarity of NaOH. We also have our volume, which is 25.35 milliliters. We're going to have to convert that to liters in order for these two to cancel out. So we know that 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So when we cancel all of these out, we're left with moles. So this should give us 0 0.002915 moles of NaOH. So the third step is to determine the moles of the benzoic acid. So here we're going to use our balanced equation in order to look at the mole to mole ratio. So for every one mole of NaOH, we get one mole of benzoic acid. 
So here we can take the moles of NaOH that we just found. And then we're going to multiply it by the stoichiometric value of benzoic acid. So we know that for every one mole of NaOH, we get one mole of benzoic acid. So that means that we should get the same amount of moles for our, I'm just going to abbreviate it, benzoic acid Ba. So the fourth part, now we have in moles, the question asks us to find it in grams. So once we take the moles of benzoic acid, we can use its formula weights, which was given in the problem as 122.12 of Ba is equal to one mole of Ba. This is in grams. So once we cancel out the moles on the bottom, we're left with 0.3560 grams of C6H5.